Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will going to discuss about the example of blinking of LED. So in this we will be using the ESP32 for our blinking of a LED. So when we are talking about this ESP32, we have got a microcontroller chip present on this ESP32 where you will going to upload a program. So we will going to take an LED. So we have got a LED in which we have got an anode and cathode. And if you are very new to this LED, if you do not understand which is the positive part and which is the negative part, so we have a long tail and a short tail present in the LED which we will going to denote to the positive and negative. So long tail represent the positive terminal and short leg represent the negative term of the LED. So what we have to do, we have to connect this LED with the ESP32. So we have a D2 present on a ESP32. So we will going to connect the positive terminal with the D2. And then we will going to connect the negative terminal with the ground like this. Now what we have to do, we have to write a program on the Arduino IDE where we will going to write a program of a blinking of a LED and that program will going to be uploaded on this ESP32. So how we will going to connect? We will going to connect it with the help of a USB cable. So generally we are using a micro USB cable to upload the program which has been written on the Arduino IDE to the ESP32 board. So we have got a steps which we will going to follow. So the first step is we have to decide the pin mode. So pin mode means that where we are connecting our LED. So we have to define the LED pin. So here we have used the LED pin at the pin number D2. And what we want? We want this LED as a output. Okay. So I want to connect this LED as a output pin. So I have to give a LED pin, the pin number and what is the functionality. The functionality of this LED is that I want to use it as a output. So what we have to do, we have to make the LED either on or off. So what is the meaning of on and off? On means that we have to make the signal high and off means that we have to make it as a, the LED as a low. So we have got a second step. So how we will going to make this as a high or low? So we have to write a signal on this LED. So we have to use a digital write function to write the signal. So we have to make the LED either as a high or as a low. So we will be using a digital write function. We have to define the LED pin where our pin is being connected and then we have to define the function that what we want to make the LED. So if I want to make a LED as a high, so I will write a high or I will going to use digital write LED pin and if I want to make it as a low, I will going to write a low here. Okay. So it's depending upon how you want to make the LED to turn on or you want to want that this LED should be turned off. Now the third step which we will be using is that we will going to use a delay function. Okay. The third step is that we will going to use a delay function that how much long duration you want to make your LED to be on or off so we will be using a time okay so in this we will going to represent the time that how much time the led should be on or how for how much time the led should be off okay so it depend upon the time which you are providing it can be in microsecond or a millisecond depending upon the functionality which you will be using so in the next lecture we will going to talk about how to write this program on the Arduino IDE with the help of uh, these logic which we have developed. So thank you for listening to my lecture. In next lecture, we will going to talk about the coding part.